we're going to do our first FSX Steam Edition recording. Um, I have gotten all my new toys, and so it's time time to play. Uh, but since this is my first flight, kind of wanted to do a, uh, a bit of a heritage flight. A lot of the stars aligned to where I could get uh, this airplane right here. It was a Piper Cherokee 180. Um, this was the plane that I first flew in ever. Um, I sat in the back seat and my grandfather was the pilot and we flew out of this airport here which is Stellar Airport in Phoenix, Arizona uh, just south of Phoenix and uh, I thought it was very fitting that now that I've kinda got a full up um, sim with uh, joystick, throttle, pedals, all that good stuff uh, and now that I'm starting to do recordings on YouTube that this would be my champagne busting uh, video so this could go <laughs> this could go very wrong uh, I only recently just did the upgrades to FSX Steam Edition um, so as far as I know everything is stable uh, based off of all the reviews and the forums and things that I've been in uh, to, to get this set up to this point uh, but who knows it could all I'll go to horribly wrong and I've never flown this airplane either which is awesome uh, I should probably fly with an instructor before going up but um, it's virtual so I'm willing to take that risk uh, so right now we're just kinda looking at the plane I have the track IR off but uh, soon we'll turn that on um, we'll just do a quick walk around the plane as we would if we were flying the real thing um, and kinda just I don't know I'll talk through some things uh, for those who may not be aviation oriented and then we'll uh, get it open we'll push it back because I got the parking brake on that could be a little hard on the brakes if I push this thing back with the parking brake still on um, and then we'll get it started up uh, I don't even know what the weather is. This is live weather from Phoenix uh, with FSX WX system uh, plugged in, pulling in live weather. It's 12.30 on a Sunday, so it's real time. Um, so yeah, if, uh, well, right now there's nobody watching live from my Steam broadcast, but if someone to come in, and, and maybe see the first part of this. Yeah, this is this is live weather. It's good stuff. All right, so let's start. We'll get the track IR on, and we'll do a quick walk around of the aircraft. So for those who don't know who tra how track IR works, uh, it is an infrared sensor that reads the location of three dots or three uh, markers, I should say on the top of a hat and so right now I am looking to the right and it is spinning the aircraft around to in the right direction and then as I move my head to the left we start to pan around till we get about center so there's the rear of the aircraft and then we'll move all the way over back here to the front so if this were a real aircraft, uh, what I'd be doing is uh, taking fuel samples, uh, make sure that there's no water inside of the fuel tanks, which are 25 gallons on each side. Uh, check the engine oil, make sure that the, the levels is good. Um, good to go. I'd be checking the tires uh, and the struts for any obvious damage or wear. Uh, I'd check the um, free and clear movement of the flight control so I'm gonna reach over here and I'm just gonna push the flight control up on the left aileron and then down and I should if I was in a plane I'd be looking on the other side to make sure that's going the opposite direction like so there we go and then uh, so I lift up here on the elevator good size elevator up and down free play 
There's also a trim tab that's on there, and we'll probably check the trim later. But let me check the tail as well. So there's... Move the tail side to side. Alright. All is good. So we'll come over here to the passenger side of the aircraft. Up the door. And... We get a little... Oh, head this way. Alright. Good stuff. So, yep, so there's in there. So we're going to hop into the aircraft real quick. Alrighty. And I'll scoot back a bit so we can see everything. Alright. Uh, yep. So we uh, we want to quickly turn on the, the lights and do a quick run around with the lights too. And while I'm in here, I'm going to go ahead and take off the parking brake. The parking brake's down. So apparently it was off. I should have had that on. Okay, so the parking brake's off. You turn on, and we'll get the lights going as well here too. So, there's the landing light, rotating beacon, and I think those are interior lights. Yeah. All right, let's hide. The lights check is good. Yep. So rotating beacon up on top. We got the white tail. Red on our port side, green on our starboard, and let's see about the, uh, this is a bit of a stretch, but yep, front light's on. Okay, we don't want to drain the battery back in. Let's see the going. Turn and turn off the light. light. Leave these on because when we first start up, probably want to make sure that we are good to go. And scooch back here. So it is forward and back, which is quite helpful. Um, and we're going to be taking peeks around left, right, and center. All right. Uh, the brakes are off. And that's once we step outside the airplane. And we're just going to push back. Uh, yep, we're going to give a good push back of the aircraft so it gives us some room to uh, to make a taxi because we initially start off pretty close to the um, to the edge of the taxiway. All right. So in real life, this is nothing more than pushing the airplane back, and uh, we'll push it probably to the end of the T. So we look at where the rotation or not the rotation where the curvature of the taxiway begins that's probably going to be good right there so we'll stop the pushback on the brakes perfect all right uh well that went pretty well nothing has exploded yet uh let's go ahead and hop in the plane and start the checklist okay i'm gonna leave the door open until we're getting ready to start the uh, engine uh so I actually have a knee pad, a uh, knee board, uh, with me. So if you're seeing me look down, if I had legs, you see me looking at my knee board. But I have an actual knee board that I'm actually just running an Android tablet on. Uh, so it's actually pretty simple. I just go over here to FSS checklist, pull it up. Let's go to startup checklist, and we kind of go from there. So, parking brake's on. Uh, I did it through a quick hotkey, but yep, it's down there. Parking brake, good to go. Um, and the throttle, so we're going to move the throttle real quick right there. And throttle's nice and smooth. So, we'll put it right back there to idle. Okay, we're going to check the fuel system here. And when we had the battery on, we can take a look at the fuel levels. There's left and there's right. So those are good. Get the uh, put some uh, some juice in there. All right. So we're gonna turn on the alternator switch as well. Okay. And uh, flaps are currently up on our checklist. Okay. We have no spoilers on this aircraft. We're gonna check our flight controls. Flight controls. Free and clear movement. So there's left, right. Visually, let's see how that's looking. Down. Down. Our rudders are not going to be able to 
see. Because we don't have a back window. I'm going to shut this one. Okay. Uh, Then get our lock on. Uh, get our NAKs on. Panel lights. No panel lights. Interesting. Okay. Yep. Lighting's a winning light until we're ready to taxi. Uh, no de-icing. Transponder set to VFR. So that's all good. And uh, we're going to click it over there to standby. All that in place, we are ready for startup. So this, this may be a little difficult because I got to lean down here, but under there is the starter switch. Crank it on over. Okay, problem mixture. So. This is where flying for a while can get you. So let's try it again. All right, let's get the mats. There we go. All right, let's get the door closed. The door closed and locked. Quick look at our engine instruments, make sure they're good to go. So we have the RPMs that are down there. This is a fixed pitch aircraft, so uh, what we give it on the RPMs is, is what we get. Uh, so it'll match up right with the power setting that we have. Uh, carburetor heat, no need for carburetor heat today. It's well above any kind of icing temperatures, but if we did, that's where we uh, Let's take a quick look at the stack. So. Speed, good. Gyro is up. And go ahead. the bug straight and level. Altimeter, we'll get that in a second as we get comms and figure out what uh, what our local altimeter is. So nav instruments or two nav instruments. We'll be VFR today, so we'll be using those. Zero. Let's do a quick compass check. So about there it is, and we got about there up top as well. Okay, and our turn coordinator looks good. So maneuvering speed, probably good to keep this in mind, is 129. All right, so uh, back up here real quick. So quickly we're going to change to 122.8, it's the local. The radio and turn it on as well. And uh, listen to local traffic. Now there is not a local ATIS, so we're going to have to go to Chandler. So give me a moment, and I'm going to go with the mini board to see what Chandler. See if you other moving around. Just, there we go. When I have to look down, I'll try not to make a stare at the ground. For the record, the uh, terminal air frequency is actually 122.9, but uh, FSX still has it as 122.8. So we'll just kind of have to deal with that. And I thought it gave us a frequency for the AWOS over at Chandler. Apparently it does not. So let me just uh, let me just go to Chambers page real quick. All right, 
that 1176 all right track back on and all right we are looking good uh, and running and so runway is over here to our right and we're going to need to taxi over there uh, we're going to cross the runway over to the east side uh, and do a run up over there uh, because 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 uh, it's residential on this west side, so they try to prohibit uh, run-ups as well. So, uh, off the brake. Actually, off the brakes to, to get up the parking brake. On the gas a little bit more here. Yep. Okay. That's good. Brake check's good. And let's get a little bit of taxi here. So, for all of my pilot buddies that are watching this, uh, I'm going to very gingerly work this airplane because I don't have a lot of experience with it. So, don't laugh at my five knot taxi, please. So right now, Shadow Play, which is using what I'm using to record this, does not um, support uh, recording the webcam at the same time unless you are streaming. Um, so that's a bit of a limb fact here, because I would like to be able to have people kind of watch what I'm doing with the controls. Um, but since we cannot do that. So we're uh, kind of stuck with what we got. Alright, so our departure is going to be uh, to the south, uh, down runway 17. And One of the cool things about Steam is we can bring the web browser up to block the web browser. Okay. Safety conscious, I'm going to wait until we get to the end of the, the run right here. to do is I want to pull up the chart, the uh, Phoenix area chart, and kind of see where we're going to stay. I'm going to stay pretty low, in all honesty. I'm not going much higher than uh, 3,000 around the airfield, and we're just going to go straight south, do some maneuvers, and then come back. Um, but I want to be able to kind of reference that. I 
like I said, our run-up has to be on the east side. short of the runway and do a quick look for traffic okay no traffic taxi across there's a taxiway that way but it does not get us back to the runway so essentially what I'm going to do is kind of spam Differential braking. It's turned around. Come on. All right. Winds are calm, so we don't have to really worry about uh, where we're putting. So keep the brakes in, and let's quickly, because my fire... Okay, it paused it for me. Uh, okay, I'm good with that. I'm good with just, we're just paused for now. Um, www.skyvector.com Okay, Phoenix sectional, we're going to zoom in, get the Phoenix fly chart, uh, nope, tactical, terminal area map, all right, um, boy, they don't give you much space in this browser, do they? Alright, Stellar Park, here we are. Uh, we have a, a floor of 5,000 that we got to stay below for the Class B airspace in Phoenix. Uh, that shouldn't be any problem, but here, 6,000 is kind of where we're worried about. So we're going to come out, hit this way, and kind of got to just scoot out of here. Um, just play around, and then come back around. So 6,000 and 5,000. That's going to be what we generally want to keep it under. Not a problem, because we're, we're starting at 11, essentially 12. Um, which is 10 uh, when you convert it over. OK, um, that's good. So that's there. Let's get the brakes back on, unpause. All right, let's do our engine run up real quick. So we'll take a look at the RPM gauge. I'm moving it up to about 15. Okay. Best the mid. We'll see some rise in the RPM. Once we see it start kind of falling off, bring it. And that should be good. Alright, all good there. And then. This is going to be something new for me. Uh, we're going to try the flaps with the this hotas. Okay, so I heard flaps. And I'm assuming it's like the first notch. Yeah, that looks the first notch. Or second notch. First notch. All the way up. Okay. Deal. And where that is in the cockpit, whoosh, I'm gonna figure that one out. Might be on the floor. Yes, it is. It is the center handle, actually. Oh, that reminds me of a Cessna 140, which you pretty much use the flaps like a speed brake. Fun times. All right. Uh, hold. Proceed forward. Taxi. Hold short. Take a look to incoming and make sure nobody's coming the other way. Alright, 
So I have not been making taxi calls because I know there's nobody else here in the airport, but now I'm going to start making them. So, let me uh, get the mic button going here. Alright. Stellar traffic, Cherokee, November 6609 to Tango. Taxi to runway 11, straight out departure.
thousand, we'll start putting it into a bit of a cruise. Actually, good with this 110 speed. Again, not. Don't really know uh, the performance of this since it's the first time hopping in it. And just uh, try not to be eyes down as much either. about 22, that sounds like a good cruise. Let me start settling. Right. Look at the chart and see where a good mile marker you can find. No, we're out of the class, Bravo. Uh, Sun Lakes. Might be over top of Sun Lakes. There's a few lakes there, like some lakes. There's some other little bodies of water as well. With the uh, new textures that were added, the detail is pretty good. But it's actually a bit difficult because I'm used to the um, more generic textures. But you can just be like, oh, clearly that's uh, some sort of a vibe. So, let's see, there is a road that's right there. Let's see which road that uh, Oh, maybe it's the, the railroad that's going diagonal. If that's the case, we'll get started. And, uh, here we go. Rail and power lines. So, we'll just shy uh, up to where they split. Here. And here. Definitely set for a good cruise, about 105 knots, and 4,000. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and turn our landing lights. And the rest of our lights are good. Back to our chart, Santan Mountains, over kind of what we're, what we're pointing towards. So we should be able to take a look. Maybe we could see Gateway. No, it's kind of a bit too hazy. So we've got approximately 900 feet of clearance. I'm not going to get close, but it's, uh, I'm not sure about ridge lift and uh, wind effects off the mountain. So we'll give ourselves a bit of cushioning room. Actually, kind of cruising a little bit more. So once we come around this, I'll start heading east more. SMGs, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll tune into 
the uh, Phoenix Approach here on this side of town. Uh, seeing what traffic is going on there. Um, once again, FS didn't really line up with uh, what the current charts are, so we'll have to use the, uh, the quick tuning feature. Good to know. It's real good to know. It kinda sucks. Uh, what are our fuel situation over here? You know, I think we're just <laughs> crap. Looks like we're gonna deal with a left rolling aircraft at the time here. Uh, try to bump up the speed. The wings detrahedral, I think.
not quite comfortable. So once we get over here, we'll go ahead and head on back. And what I'd like to do, maybe in the next video, is do a uh, either early morning or late afternoon tour of Phoenix. Uh, I think that would be pretty awesome. It would be probably easier in assessment. High wing, you'd be able to look down and see some more stuff, but uh, I do really like the speed of the low wing so it doesn't turn into a three hour tour. <laughs> yeah, I went there. Sorry.
So, I've heard conflicting, conflicting news about Arma. I've been told there's 20 stances, and then I heard there's 9 stances. So I think there's 9 basic stances, but then you can also lean against objects, and that is considered a stance. Or if your gun has a bipod, you can put it on the bipod, and that counts as stance. Not sure. Um, if you know, this has nothing to do with FSX, but uh, go ahead and put, the, put it in the comments below if, uh, if you know how many stances there are in Arma 3. I'm not saying you have to prove it, but, uh, you know, circumstantial evidence, that'd be nice. So I think, once again, that I'm looking at our fuel gauges here, and they're burning pretty evenly. But if we look down here at the fuel selector, and sorry, track our are a little difficult to that. Um, it is selected on the left tank, so might be a bug, and it's draining from both of them, might not be, don't know, um, but that's going to be, it's going to be something to try out later, to see if, we, if it is a single tank burn, and we have to change it over, because I just thought just turned around, so that might be a good chance to, uh, to turn that back on, or turn that over to the other tank we were just burning. So, all right, let's get a little closer to the sand tanks because I'm a little bit concerned that we'd be getting close to the class problem. Then we also need to start thinking about our descent. Williams Gateway again, my old uh, college campus out at what used to be ASU East, as the was it, technology campus. Huh, you, you think I hadn't been there in a while. Little known fact, there's actually an Air Force Labs unit that, uh, that is it over there. I didn't know that until I saw some, uh, some Air Force peeps one day, and I was like, hey, what are you guys doing here? We're slowly working our way below 4,000. Uh, I'm going to pause the track IR and take this opportunity. So let's dial back into Chandler's ATIS. One twenty-eight point three two five. Alright, 
so not too much has changed at all, really. So I'll pop back over here to CTF. great things about navigating around Phoenix is all the roads, except for the outliers, are east and west. So I can just kind of take glances at, at the roads and uh, kind of confirms that I'm on the right path. Alright, so if you're looking here, that runway right there is Memorial. So we want to come in Memorial uh, south of it and then roll in over Fly the North and then we'll start the Interstellar. And there is Chandler, so we're almost beating to that. And then once again. Aircraft with no trim. Kind of look into that. So that is going to be annoying on some cross countries if we don't get that sorted. Okay, let's look at it on the chart. There's Chandler, we're a beam. Just on the edge of the class Bravo. Do a little memorial. Let's get past that. We're actually going to want to come over just as we get over the south threshold of the runway. The line is pretty good in the Pattern altitude, we're going to put that at 2,200. Put us for 1,000 feet. We're going to do a full flaps approach, and again, I'm doing that because I'm a bit cautious of being an aircraft, new aircraft, not knowing the characteristics, um, and we'll just carry a lot of extra RPMs in case something goes, we have to do a go-around, uh, it's, it's just a slight push-up of the throttle. You already got the power behind it. Um, I mean, the flaps are going to get us enough lift to get us out of any trouble. If you think really. Oh, hey, look at that. So, right there. Is the uh, Phoenix Firebird uh, boat lake, boat racing lake? And then Firebird track would be out there somewhere. Uh, shout out to Hayden Motorsports, who was raced there as well. Okay, let's begin our turn in here. Also, shameless plug, my Hayden Motorsports sister channel. I'm uh, going to be working on a video to show off the new livery for uh, 2015 season. Sponsored by uh, 
uh, Toro Rosso and speedhunters.com. So we'll start filming on that this week. In minimum two weeks, we'll get that out on the Hayden Motorsports YouTube channel. And we'll post it up. And hopefully that'll draw in some folks to like the Hayden Motorsports page on Facebook. All right, and enough shameless plugs. Down to business here. So we got the airfield right up here. I'm actually cooking and not down to my target altitude yet. So I'm gonna do descend here, and I'm gonna go ahead and make my call right now to over C tab. Stellar traffic, Cherokee 09 Tango is two miles south, southwest, correction south, southeast, entering the downwind straight on for runway 17, full stop. Stellar traffic, Cherokee 09 Tango, now base, left base, runway 17, full stop. Okay, gonna change the game up here, and we're gonna stay with uh, not our full set of flaps, because actually it dropped way more altitude than I thought we were going to. Uh, so we're just going to lock it in here, get us down to about 70, yeah. and and still with traffic, Cherokee 09 Tango. Zero nineteen and now final runway one seven full stop. Ooh, now 
gonna lie, I was looking sketch. I was looking real sketch in the beginning. Trying to make the radio call and slow down and yeah. And I also heard the flaps move on their own. Not sure. Alright, flaps up. Stella traffic, Cherokee 09 Tango, now back taxi, runway. Runway 17. Woo! Sharp turning. choose to park at the furthest one away with that. Oh well. with you I can't remember if I claim but I think nobody else does. horrible horrible mentality to have but yeah nobody else does. Uh, all right so hold the mixture kill the engine
and let's get some air. Ooh. All right. All right. Parking brake. And there we go. All right. Whew. Not bad. Not bad. I am... I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready to uh, give a little tour uh, of Phoenix. So we'll get in the Class Bravo airspace, or s at least stay below the Class Bravo. Um, I think we're going to need to enter it when we go through the VFR corridor over Sky Harbor. Uh, but yeah, that should be fun. Uh, post in the comments below, do you want a morning flight? you want a night flight? Uh, do you want some weather? I can throw some weather in there. Uh, yep, yeah, let me know. Uh, and then also let me know what you think about the quality of the recording. And is there anything else that uh, maybe you want to see? Or any other flights and planes that are like, hey, I'd like to see you fly that in the future. Uh, I'm up for it because I'm, I'm here. and I've got my stuff, finally. It's taken forever to piece it all together, but it's good to go. All right, uh, let me hop out the plane, and I will say thanks for watching, and have a great one. Sting out.